Hello friends. Welcome to complete package of top interview questions and answers for desktop support and help desk positions. The purpose of this video is to combine two major factors required to be successful in IT, thus merging two related videos. Having knowledge in desktop support is important, but what some people overlook is the importance of good customer service, which is where help desk training comes in. Desktop support and help desk go hand in hand when it comes to providing good quality service to any employer. And by combining the two, we have a complete package. This eliminates the need to watch multiple videos related to the same field. First part of the video is desktop support and second help desk customer service. A couple of questions may be repeated during the video which may serve as method of memorizing the most important information during an interview. If you'd like to support this type of content, you can do so at youtube.com forward slash Kobuman channel page. Welcome to Top 20 Desktop Support Interview Questions and Answers video tutorial. This is an enhanced version of the 2015 video found on youtube.com forward slash Kobuman channel. The answers have been slightly modified for easier understanding and accuracy. In addition, answers are presented in a visual format, meaning that they are written out. All of the technical questions vary in order from easy to advanced difficulty level in order to provide breaks in between. Question number one. Can you tell me about yourself? Be very careful when answering this question because this is your first big chance to impress and you can do so by stating the facts related to this job. Only talk about previous experience, education, and formal training related to this field. It is important to understand that follow-up questions may be related to anything you say at this point. Question number two. You've received a trouble ticket that PC monitor is not working. What is the first thing you should do? The first thing you should do is check to see if all cables are plugged in correctly. First check power, then video signal cable, and if both check out, make sure the computer itself is powered on. If asked for further as troubleshooting steps, Explain that there is a possibility that video driver or PC hardware could be causing the issue. Question number three. What is safe mode? How do you get to it? And what is it used for? In order to reach safe mode, computer must be restarted. And by pressing F8 key before the OS loads, you will arrive at a selection screen at which you will scroll up to select safe mode. Safe mode is used to troubleshoot driver issues, hardware issues, and remove viruses or unwanted software. Question number four. What is an IP address and how to find it? IP address is a number assigned to your computer to identify its existence or location on a network, meaning that DHCP server will assign a number to each computer connected to a network as part of identification. You can find your IP address by opening a command prompt window, CMD, and type in ipconfig forward slash all. Alternatively, you can look at, a, at network adapter properties. Question number five, what is a default gateway? You can see what the default gateway is by performing an ipconfig forward slash all command through CMD. Default gateway serves as path to reach other networks. For example, in order to reach the internet outside of your business or home, you need a gateway that will open the way for you. Default gateway 
in a business environment is typically a proxy server. Question number six. What is Active Directory? Active Directory is a feature of Windows Server OS and contains user accounts, objects, host names, group policies, and the main services. For example, Active Directory will have information about a user login credentials. In addition, it can contain group policy that will apply different permissions to user accounts that belong to specific groups within organization within a domain. Question number seven, what is a domain? Leading in from the previous question, domain is a group of computers and users connected to a network. A user will have domain login access once their credentials are created, added to the specific domain within Active Directory. In other words, your PC login will most likely be a domain login. As a side note, PC host names must be added to the same domain, but user can still log in even if the computer is attached to another domain within the same network. Question number eight. You receive a trouble ticket that states, my printer is not working properly. It prints out weird pattern on the paper. Please assist. This issue is caused by a bad or wrong printer driver. Solution is to acquire and install a correct printer driver. Question number nine. What are some commonly used LAN cables? There are four different types of LAN cables. CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, and CAT6A. CAT speeds are up to 100 megabits per second. CAT5E up to 1000 megabits per second. CAT6 up to 1000 megabits per second certified gigabit. And CAT6A up to 10,000 megabits per second. All the speeds are based off 100 meters maximum distance. Question number 10. What is blue screen of death? Blue screen of death is most commonly caused by bad hardware. The error appears as a blue screen crashing the computer. Blue screen of death can be caused by hardware, software, or driver issues and conflicts. In order to troubleshoot blue screen of death, you will need to run a full hardware diagnostic on the PC and update all of the drivers. Question number 11. What is DHCP? DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, and it deals with handling of IP addresses for all computers connected to a network. Each computer is allowed to have connection to the network or internet resources after DHCP server assigns an IP address dynamically. Dynamic type of IP address can change at any point. Question number 12. What is DNS? DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it reroutes known host names to IP address that hosts its service. For example, DNS for www.microsoft.com is located at 104.90.84.14, but it can change randomly. You can say that it serves as an address book for the host names, which are then translated into numbers in order for computers to understand it. In this example, it assigns and routes web address names to web hosting services. Question number 13. What is VPN? A virtual private network is commonly used as a secure way to connect from remote location to network resources in your business or company. For example, you can take your laptop to a coffee shop, start a VPN, and through it securely connect to a PC at work or access company's email 
and files. Question number 14. What is a ping command and its use? Generally, the ping command is used to determine whether your computer has access to external resources or the internet. Through command prompt, type ping www.microsoft.com. This function sends four packets of data which are sent back as acknowledgement of successful connection. It also provides the latency results measured in milliseconds. Question number 15. What is a group policy? Active Directory assigns a group policy to each new user added into the database. For example, if you work in desktop support, your user login credentials and permissions will be assigned to a group policy. In Active Directory, you can take any user and place them into a group that has predetermined settings. Group policy can restrict read, write, or execute, and restrict access to network resources. Question number 16. What is a PST file? .pst is a file extension used by Microsoft Outlook archive file. An email archive would be commonly known as a PST. Question number 17. How would you change folder permissions? You can change folder permissions through group policy, but it can also be done at local level with administrator privileges. Under Folder Properties, select Security tab and then Edit button, after which a pop-up will provide an ability to add users and allow for read, write, execute, or full permissions. Question number 18. What is a difference between a switch and a hub? There are a couple of main differences between switch and a hub. Hub can be used to connect multiple computers to a single network, while switch can be used to create multiple segments of the same network. Second difference is that with a hub, all computers connected to it receive the data packets at once, which create latency issues. Switch can regulate this by only sending the packets to computer that requested it. Question number 19. How would you recover data from a virus-infected computer? In order to successfully and safely recover data, you would extract the hard drive from the infected computer slave it to a second computer that has updated virus definitions, updated Microsoft patches and drivers. From there, you would scan the drive for viruses, and once virus is removed, you can extract the data that needs to be recovered. Question number 20. Why should we hire you? This is your last chance to sell yourself to this employer. Mention all of the qualifications related to this job, all of the work experience, all of the education certifications that you may have. Don't forget to smile, make eye contact, and confidently explain why all of these things would make you a perfect candidate. Question number one, what makes a good help desk employee? A, have the ability to listen and resolve problems. B, be able to resolve issues fast and concisely by explaining the situation in an easy to follow manner. And C, have patience and understanding with customers. Question number two, how would you deal with an issue that you can't resolve or understand? A. 
ask appropriate questions to get to the bottom of the issue without aggravating the customer. B. You would contact or inquire a solution from a coworker or a manager. Question number three. If you come across a frustrated customer, how would you deal with this situation? A. Reassuring customer that their issue will be resolved is a sure way to calm them down. B. It is important to stay calm yourself and not get frustrated in order to handle the situation properly. Question number four. Have you ever had a conflict with someone? And if so, how did you resolve it? A. Try to provide a minimal conflict situation in which the issue was resolved in a professional and courteous manner. B. You can also provide an answer where it was a simple misunderstanding and how you were able to resolve the issue. Question number five. How would you rate yourself from one to five based on the ability to resolve issues? A. If you are new to help desk and customer service, you may not wish to rate yourself at five because the following question may not be something you can answer. In this answer, you could rate yourself at four. B. You can rate yourself at five if you have previous help desk experience and are sure that you can answer any other questions that may follow. Question number six. How do you stay up to date with IT knowledge? A. For this answer, you can mention that internet, books, and education as sources of your knowledge in order to keep up with fast evolving IT world. B. Be ready to cite your sources as this may be a follow-up question. Question number seven. Why do you wish to work with Help Desk? A. Provide honest answer to this by stating that you like to troubleshoot computer problems and gain pleasure in helping others. Also mention that Help Desk is a good place to learn new things. Question number eight. How do you stay organized? A. You can provide specific ways on how you stay organized. For example, you can mention that you take notes and prioritize tasks at hand in order to resolve the issues in an efficient manner. B. You utilize any tools provided in order to stay organized. In this example, you could mention Microsoft Outlook, Word, Excel, or similar software in addition to taking paper notes. Question number nine. Do you think it's important to be a team player? A. It is very important to be a good team player because it shows that you are willing to work with others. B. A good team player can resolve more difficult issues in a more efficient manner, especially when working with different departments within the company. Question number 10. Which ticketing system are you familiar with? A. If you have experience with Help Desk, for this question, you would simply state which ticketing system you have used in the past. As an addition to this video, I just wanted to mention on how it is very important to do your research about the company you're applying with. This will further prepare you and increase your chances in getting this awesome job. Friends, please do me a favor and visit facebook.com forward slash Kobuman and like my webpage. This will not only help me, but also help others. 
If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment or like this video. I sincerely hope this video will help you in your career and that you can make a lot of money doing it. Thank you for watching.